Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me. Congratulate the peacemaker. You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender. Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil! Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. You. Are. My. Idol! I didn't. Flint Paper! Hiya, fellas! Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? By the secret sideburns of Isaac Asimov! My name, Tron 9000! Destroyed, Salmon Max. Destroyed, Salmon Max. That's who, Mame Tron? That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass! It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. What goes up must come down. Why are you fools making all that damn racket? Just to tell you once again who's bad. Holy sh... Good arm on that one. I'm gonna tear your playhouse down pretty soon. He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle-of-the-road pop music is impeccable. I've lost that loving feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous Wind-Up Toy of Destruction, sir. Yes? I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! It's trouble, all right. Would you stop doing this, please? If you start me up, if you start me up, I'll never stop. Huh? I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. Which raises the question? Would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? Freelance police, you're under arrest. Put down the building and come peacefully, and only one of us needs to get hurt. I answer to no authority but that of my mechanized will. I've got to go where I want to go, do what I want to do. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot. Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. Aww. Why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay, and lovers await the break of day? What? Why? You were trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites. I hope he didn't fall on anybody important. We'd better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards. Question, Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? 
I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle-cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup-covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god! Santa Claus! Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? What the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. Ding dong! Justice calling! You've got to help us! He'll kill us all! Now, Max is harmless. Mostly. Not him! Santa! He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys! We don't know what's gotten into him. The snow will turn red with the blood of the knock! The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. What happened to Santa? I don't know, but if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it. The man gives presents away for free. I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them. To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song! Aw, oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I commute. Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health plan. Do the baby penguins do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use the gift tube over there and see for yourself. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. 
You gotta get his gun away from him, or he's gonna make us do bad things. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow. How? By crying. Christmas trees love elf tears. Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast. But I'm too darn happy. I'll never be able to cry. What a shame. It's enough to make you cry. I wish. I bet we could make you cry. Thanks. I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy. We can fix that. In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Me first! You don't still believe in Santa Claus, do you? Sure I do. I saw him this morning. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but uh, Santa isn't real. He's just make-believe. Like the Black Easter Bunny. Or elves. But I'm an elf! That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second, are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, no, I guess I can't. Ouch, tough break. <laughs> Surprise, we were lying. Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. Wow, I can't believe he filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. Good work, little buddy. Oh, stop! <laughs> now you're gonna make me cry! It's a Boxing Betty doll. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Didn't the Mametron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Nope, I didn't learn anything. Good, I worry sometimes. It's the world's simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. Here we grow. Hey, Sam! Give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plants. You win again, Tokyo! Christmas. We come bearing good cheer and high-powered pistols. <gasps> Sugar plum fairies! Santa, you okay in there? Ho 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 ho! Eat hot lead, you little imps! Ah! Ah! Shh. They're exorcism instructions. Wicked! I want to do it now! But we don't know anyone who's possessed. Or do we? How do we start? Hey kids, wanna silence those inner voices? Do I? No more messy arcane rituals. The My Little Demon playset makes it easy. First, signal the emergence of the demon with the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, sold separately. Ah. Ask your parents to help you place the horsemen around a powerful magnetic pole. Roman Polanski? Finally, draw the hell spawn out by singing the friendly demon song, using personal information about your demon. He won't be able to resist. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever! Whee! You two again! Hold still while I give you your present!
It's an album of satanic Christmas songs. Oh, it includes the smash hit, the Friendly Demon song. I can't think of anything to say right now. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Ah, the smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed! Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The Stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething hatred of humanity into a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Hiya, Stinky. If that is your real name... Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, Freelance Police. The real Stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards. Which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> my sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression. How do you play? It's easy. Just grab a trivia pad. I'll read a question. You write down the answer. I'll review the answers, and then you'll see how much smarter I am than everyone else. You can choose a team if you want. Oh, oh, Sam! Pick me! Pick me! How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney, <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Grrr. Standing up all day getting you down? And how? I was made for sunning Beachside and Capri, not slinging Hash Counterside for a pack of ingrates. So long. Hey, that looks like one of the Four Horsemen action figures. Look, Max, it's our incredible recording bug. Great! I finally managed to get away from my family, and now you two show up! Can a bug just eat a brimstone sandwich in peace? Ah, uh, brimstone. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. What the hell? Sir, so long, sir. Keep him dangly, dogface. Hello, sir. Ah! Oh, I thought you were my family. They always try to surprise me on my birthday. The song say birthday? Holy! That was weird. You don't get along with your family? 
Negative. Except for my dad, they're all a bunch of spineless ladybugs. Aren't all bugs spineless? Not in my regiment. If you didn't have a spine, by God, my dad would make you grow a pair. A pair of spines? That's just the kind of bug he was. Senseless and brutal. God, I miss him. What happened to your dad? You really want to know? No, not really. It was our toughest battle yet. We'd secured our positions in a heavily fortified dumpster when suddenly they came out of nowhere. Who? The cleaning crew. Cleaning crew! Attacking with sanitation. That's just plain dirty. The smell of bleach was overpowering. We all would have gone thorax up if it hadn't been for my dad. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. God, he was concise. <laughs> Gets me every time. Every time? Why'd you play back that demon recording? I've got a case of PISD, post-insecticide stress disorder. It keeps causing these flashbacks. How so? I get a whiff of something familiar, and the memories just come rushing back. Must have been some brimstone in the air during that exorcism. Oh, is that brimstone? This whole time I just assumed you let out a 200-pound fart. No, it was brimstone. Honest. How long have you had this weird flashback disorder? Ever since my company tried and failed to take Hamburger Hill. In Nam? Negative! Hamburger Hill behind the Burger Buddies on West 5th! The place reeked of pheromones. Charlie was using roach motels. ROACH MOTELS! What other memories you got recorded? I want to hear him talk like Zombie George Burns. I'll go get some cigars and formaldehyde. Get away from me! I don't want to aggravate my condition. Sir, so long, sir. Let's give this trivia question a try. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. We'll start with you, Sybil. I chose A. Of course you did, dear, <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <sighs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President, but also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We also chose A. Sadly, this is a quiz, not an election. It is still wrong. The correct answer was actually B. B? Liar! All right, next question. This day of the week comes between Tuesday and Thursday. What is it? A. Doomsday. B. Wednesday. C. Doris Day. D. Menachem Begin. 23 skidoo, Mr. Lincoln. What's shaking, Mr. Ex-President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. <laughs> That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I never friended you. Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? To cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. What are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys. We think it's A. Hmm, okay. See you, Al. Represent. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. 
Oh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I chose A. Oh, <laughs> how lucky. Sadly, you're wrong. The answer is D. D! No, it is not. <laughs> not. We chose C. No, that's wrong. Oh, I guess it must be right. Well, congratulations! I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler? Blind a toddler? Hmm. Eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. What's this? A clandestine meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The cops are obsolete no longer! Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp Le Car! We offer sick car upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? No one! Get! What was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. Families was terminated! What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. Road debris? From the main trunk? My hero! No! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted Torture Me Elmer doll. Destroy them all! What have you got against Torture Me Elmer? Show off! My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. I think the cops may have been educational toys. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them! Torture Me Elmer is the hottest toy this season. Elmer appeals to the lowest common denominator. He's a sellout! So do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Because you're lonely, forgotten machines who do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Input appears valid. I just had a breakthrough! This is all about my dad! We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press 1 now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault! Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent! First, however, you must complete the Pimplica driving challenge. I'll just give us the horse. Where is the fun in that? We've pooled together our years of experience in designing the most advanced computer games to bring you the ultimate augmented reality driving experience. Augmented reality? Yes. While you weren't looking, we placed a pair of our patented augmented reality goggles in your vehicle. You did? Through the miracle of augmented reality, your driving experience will be five to ten times more satisfying than ever before. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? And how? Eat my dust. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Pimp Le Car Driving Challenge. I'm really excited. Your mission is to hit the displayed number of Torture Me Elmer dolls. Make them pay! And you must do it in the allotted time. Just go already! Ready? Go! <laughs> Ah! 
Look into your heart! You deserve a free decal! No more, I beg you! Oh! Free decal, I would... I know my rights! I'm, I'm an American citizen! Why are you doing this? Ow, 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 ow! Please, kill me! Ay! Congratulations! You are a winner! Excellent! Please accept this exclusive hood ornament with our compliments! You're totally adequate! Look, Max. It's the sudden unexpected death figurine with super reaping action. Now, wherever we drive, pedestrians will feel the icy chill of death. More so than usual. My missing boxing glove! That's my lucky glove, Put. Jimmy Two Teeth, what are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned-out husk of this robot? The first rule is, we don't talk about what goes on in the burned-out husk of this robot. Hey, neat horse! Give it to me. Nothing doing. That's my championship trophy, and I want it fair and square. I always thought being shiftless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies now? Boxing championship, wise guy! See ya, suckers! Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. Welcome. <gasps> Bosco, your disguise. It's. it's. it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. Wow! I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. Shh! My package! What, no hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, Sam, Sam. You poor, naive fool! Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from T-H-E-M. Them? <coughs> you scared me! Who's them? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find T-H-E-M. Well, if you do, tell them... Okay, this is getting old fast. What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look. I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. Now the store looks, uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more. And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers. It's a fact. A fact they don't want you to know. Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly. My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. I have conspiracy facts. So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. C 
because he doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Enough about your store. It's not a... No, oh, uh, forget it. Say, Bosco, what's in the... Hey, guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not your best pickup line, Bosco. Oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb. Now that's a pickup line. Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year around this time. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So, why don't you just get rid of it? Cause it might be the billion dollar plunger I just ordered. What a dilemma. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. See ya, Bosco. Shh. It's icy cold. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect! I've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. You only have yourself to blame for that. It was worth it. This must be what Santa uses to send presents. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Who's it for? Bosco might like that. Footpath and Piranha Aquarium. Too bad the Piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Stinky might like that. Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Howdy, Bosco. I just got a package, and this one's ticking louder than all five of Larry King's pacemakers put together. It's gotta be my mama's bomb. I'm gonna blow it to kingdom come. Now, while he's distracted, Max, grab the package and let's get... Look, Sam! It's the supersized famine figure! With realistic binging and purging action! It's got over 1,700 points of articulation! 250 in the jowls alone! 
You never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. Wait, where's my package? Dear God, they took it! And they took Sam and Max too! There ain't no place safe! That foot bath was heavenly! My feet haven't felt that good since that hot oil massage from Barack Obama. It smells like you've got a new item on the menu, too. Now, I can find the strength to keep serving these poor, sweet, spoiled imbeciles. This smelly old sock could come in handy. A super exclusive war action figure with extra. Hmm, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. Eh, who needs them? How could I lose? I'm no expert, Jimmy, but I bet being a loser helped. You, you're right. I, I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done. Jimmy's gonna off himself. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. I'm gonna do it! I'll jump, I tell ya! Hang on a second, Jimmy. Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts. Or the follow-through. Groan! Max, I don't think this is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. Where to, Sam? 
We're off to the North Pole. What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing label. To Santa, from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email. It's a high score list for Mimesweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles. Shambling corporate presents? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's gonna be all Max. Now how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's frozen. Computers and icy arctic wastelands. A bad combination. Hey, it's the North Pole. The magnetic center of the Earth. Magnetism? <laughs> don't tell me you're one of those kooks. You don't believe in magnetism? It's an interesting theory, but I'm not convinced. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. Okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things, but that's my limit. Can we start the exorcism now? Nope. We still need three more horsemen. Let's hurry! I've got a sudden, inexplicable craving for pea soup! I hope this demon appreciates all the work we're going through. I just hope he doesn't rip our lungs out and eat them in front of us. That's kind of what I meant. I can't wait till we finally exercise this bastard and put the video up on YouTube! You'll have to. We still need one more horseman. That's the last one. Now we just have to sing the incantation. Do we have to? If we want to save Santa the season of giving and possibly the entire Earth as we know it, yes. It still hardly seems worth it. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like gelatinous goo. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. Ever born. In Lower Manitoba. Even the other demons scared to let him join their games. Their games. Like Mime Sweeper. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. His name. His name. Hey, shambling corporate presence. It worked! The power of Christmas compels you! Any second now, Santa's gonna walk out that door demon-free and shower us with gifts like an absentee dad with a guilty conscience. Did it work? <laughs> Wait. But he... You mean... But I, I, I thought... But I thought... Huh? What? No! I quit! I'm gonna be a dentist! <laughs> Feliz Navidad, baby! What? Nothing? Didn't you guys read the back of the instructions? There's a back? Very important. Make sure you have the spirits of Christmas to contain the beast, or you're screwed. Sam and Max! It's up to you to save Christmas! Yep, we're screwed. Who dares to disturb our... Oh, it's you. 
You know us? We know all those who have ever ruined Christmas, especially the repeat offenders. Who are you guys? Dig the spirit of Christmas past, brothers. I am the spirit of Christmas present! And that cat's the spirit of Christmas yet to come. He's shy! What's your 20, good buddies? We could use some help saving Christmas. We're not bad people. We've just had bad luck with major holidays. And automobiles. And federal statutes. It is your own selfish actions that have brought this to pass. Selfish? We're freelance police. We save the world. Sometimes on purpose. You got no clue the bad karma you've built up, man. You will need the combined help of all three of us to defeat the demon. We will show you three Christmases you've ruined. Set them right, and we will consent to help you. Where are you going? I have to get some air! That safe reeks of weed and dilithium crystals. Let's see what Stinky's getting from Santa this year. It's full of coal. That's what you get for lying all the time. What do you think you get for reckless disregard for public safety? In my case, I got to be president. Whee! You cats ready to take a freaky trip to the past? You bet! I want to rub my body all over Mary Curie. And see if you'll glow in the dark? That'd be neat, too. Wild, man. We ain't going back that far, though. Jump in. <laughs> okay, okay! I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? Here we are in your office in the not-too-distant past. I remember this. This is when we had to retrieve the Toy Mafia's meatball sandwich that Leonard tried to fence to Jimmy. Do we get to beat up Leonard some more? No way, Max. These cats can't sense your presence in any way, Dig. You are here to right a terrible wrong you once committed. We have to stop ourselves from doing Yo Mama jokes? Just watch. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Well, Jimmy, where's this big score that's gonna change everything? Where's all the money that's gonna save our dear Tiny Timmy? Yes, Daddy. Where the f*** is it? Oh, it's hopeless. The doctors say his Tourette's Syndrome will kill him if they don't operate soon. Don't cry, Mommy. I'll get the f*** with the f***ed up f f angels. It's all a bust, Mary. Every time I try to make an honest living, Sam and Max smack me down. Oh, sh Jimmy, we were all counting on you. I know, Mary, I know. If only I'd have stuck to boxing, I could have been somebody. Instead of being a rat, which is what I am. So get your lucky boxing glove and go fight. I, I don't have it no more. Sam and Max took it. Again with Sam and Max. If you'd spend more time boxing and less time sitting around watching TV, you'd be champ. Face it, Jimmy. You're a washout. Please don't fight Mommy and Daddy. Daddy's my hero, and he'll make everything right again. You'll see, you f***ing hoes. You'll see, you f***ing hoes. Oh, you Oh, you'll see, you'll see, f Oh, my God. I'll go call the doctor to ease his suffering. Just get that glove, Jimmy. 
A baby doesn't have much time to live. And so, Sam and Max, you see what you gotta do. Beat up Leonard some more? <sighs> Jimmy, stop sitting around and get that. Merry gun. Christmas, Mrs. Two Teeth. We got you the one gift every rat loves. An impossible maze. Come and get it! Jimmy, if you don't turn off that TV, I'm going to... Hey, where am I? It's hopeless. There's no way out. Don't say that, Mary. We can work it out. I... Mary? She left me. Now I'll never see her again. That... I know, son. I know. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization. Or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Jimmy? Jimmy, what are you doing? Mary? Mary, is that you? Mary! Don't, don't go anywhere. I'll be right down. No, Jimmy, don't do it. Oh, I, I, I thought you were gonna jump. What? Ah, uh, don't talk crazy. I'd never do that, especially not with my best girl here. <gasps> Gee, Sam, I, I think I got something in my eye. Don't pick at it, Max. It's too hard to get back in the socket. Jimmy, I don't know how I got here, but I'm sorry for all the things I said. Don't worry, baby. Now that you're back in my life, nothing can stop me now. I'm unbeatable. Thanks for the glove, Jimmy. I'm feeling full of the Christmas spirit already. Where to, Sam? We're off to the North Pole. Look alive, Cheech. We want to go back in time again. Lead on, brother. Happy holidays, Jimmy. Hey! Who threw that? What? Could it be true? Timmy, look! It's your pa's lucky boxing glove. Where the f did that come from, Daddy? I don't know, son. All I know is I finally got a second chance. It's a Christmas miracle. I ain't never letting this thing out of my sight again. Now, come on, son. Your dad's gonna go punch out some bums and get you that operation. God f us, everyone. Way to go, dudes. You saved Christmas past. So let's groove on back to the present. Ten four again, buddy. Sam and Max, you made up for your past and helped Jimmy find his way. Now, for your reward. Non-sequential serial numbers, please. I'm just gonna chill in this bottle until you're ready to unleash all three of us cats on that fascist demon. Solid! Nope. Prepare yourselves for a journey beyond imagination as we enter the present! Sam and Max, Witness how your reckless carelessness hurts hey, those Hey, wait who... a second! This isn't the present! 
You took us to the past. Past us are standing right there. I know that! Just give it a minute to catch up! It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler? Blind a toddler? Hmm. Eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Oh, no! Seriously! We had a totally boss bug summoning toy, and we wasted it on a stupid exorcism! Teen Hut! Snap to, Sergeant! What? How did you stink bugs find me? This place is great! Baby brother too good to share with his family? Too good to break radio silence and call his mother anyway! Been on important missions, ma'am. Been hanging out with those filthy dung beetles more likely. They don't even speak our language! As long as my family's together again, I'm never leaving! Mayday! Mayday! Request immediate evac! IMMEDIATE EVAC! So what, we have to rekindle the bug's love for his family, teach him what they really mean to him? Oh my, no! Have you seen them? They're awful! You have to get rid of them! Oh boy! I'll go get my stomping boots! Non-violently! Damn! This thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Wanna have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. Let us return to the present! Crews on all sides! Father? It is you! The butterflies are pinned down! Move out, maggots! Sir, yes, sir! Company! March! What in tarnation? My family! They've retreated! It's a miracle! A miracle! Well done. <clears throat> now, let us return to the present! I must admit your repentance was acceptable. I suppose I can help you after all. Forget that! You gotta send me back! I wasn't done haunting people yet! Oh, Max. You and Sam will be dead soon enough. I'll wait in this bottle until you're prepared to release all three of us to smite the demon. We're really feeling the Christmas spirit now, eh, Max? You bet! I'm excited, disappointed, over-socialized, and more than a little gassy. I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time, I'm right. Wow, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> Somebody help! Spirit, why would you show us this if we were powerless to change our snackless fate? Surely we can alter these shadows before us, perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds, or chips! Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this place. Yeah, I guess that'd work.
There we go. One Santa sleigh fueled and ready for takeoff. Great! Now we can finally bomb Auckland! I was thinking we could use it to save our future selves. Right! In a preemptive strike against the vengeful Kiwis! Get in the sleigh, Buckethead. By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck! Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Shake that thing! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. I'm gonna miss that sexy beast and his fat tub of lard sidekick. Hey, you could stand to lose a few yourself, smart guy. Well, we saved Christmas for our future selves. Is that all? I guess that means he'll help us take care of our demon problem. What's he gonna do? Give him the silent treatment? No! Stop! Please! Never underestimate the power of passive aggression, Max. Car started in case this doesn't work. Hear us, aimless spirit! Tune out those bad vibes of destruction and get with the spirit of peace, man. Reject violence and anger and embrace the love and brotherhood of the season! <laughs> Bummer. Well, we tried. <clears throat> get him. Santa, you can come down now, man. That's about it for us! Happy New Year, everybody. Well, I hope you boys have learned your lesson. It was a series of honest mistakes, Santa. Keep us on the nice list and nobody has to see this videotape of you wetting yourself and screaming like a campfire girl. <laughs> you rapscallions! Run along to bed, both of you! Ready for visions of sugar plums to dance in your head, little buddy? It'd be better than the night terrors. Ho ho ho! Jello! Sinful. Santa, no! Don't eat the jello! Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't feel so good. Wow! We've got to take out Evil Santa again? Now what? Poke holes in the box and keep him? Please! Great news, Sam and Max! The demon didn't get us! Oh. Why won't you guys just die? Now it's time we sent this demon back where he belongs! Under an unsuspecting child's bed? No! Look at the mailing label! Somebody messed up! 
It wasn't supposed to go to Santa. It was supposed to go to Satan. Oh! oh that's okay. Okay. I, get oh, that. I see what you mean. <clears throat> Everybody, it's almost dawn. What are you standing around for? We've all got to pull together and save Christmas for the kids of the world. I can do the wrapping. I can do the labels. I can do the urinating. But who could possibly deliver all the toys in time? Godspeed, Sam and Max! Merry Christmas! Good luck! Drink plenty of liquids! Merry Christmas! Say, Max, you think we should have waited for them to load the presents before we drove off? What's the rush, Sam? It's the middle of November! Some demon had a very scary form. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. Even the other demon was scared to let him join their games. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. 